Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the new video. Today we're doing Zekila. And for all the new guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, and if you like the video, like it, subscribe, turn all that shebang, you know. Today we're talking about Zekila. Why? I'm gonna show you why, man. Just today, Zekila did 22%. 22%. I mean, I mean, Bitcoin is 7%, but Zekila did 22%. And all the other altcoins are doing like 2%, 3%. Zekila, 22% just today. It's insane. This this thing, how far can this go? I think this thing can actually outperform absolutely anything in crypto right now. And I'm going to show you. Uh, let's see. Let's just start. But No, no. Before we start, let's get back into the chart. And then we're going to do a tech analysis. And now we're back in the chart. Okay. So look at this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. This is Bitcoin, man. This is Bitcoin. Bitcoin did 598% uh, from the bottom of Corona dump to the top. That's uh, uh, that's uh, six, seven, seven x. Bitcoin did seven x from the bottom to the top. Now look at the killer, man. Look at the killer. Where's the killer? Where's my Zekila? Where is my Zekila? Check check this out. Check this out. <laughs> this is beautiful, man. Bottom to the top. You know how much that is? 440. 44x. Zekila did 44 times the money. I mean, it's insane. 44 times. Can you find me another uh, altcoin that did 44x from Corona up to the top? I don't think you, you can do that. I don't think you can do that. It's insane. So the question comes now, like, how far is this thing going? Like, to million? Uh, 1000 end of year uh, we're gonna see we're gonna see now it's obvious that this parabolic move uh, cannot uh, sustain forever you have to understand that this is a parabolic move look at this that's parabolic parabolic moves comes to end you have a correction you have a, a sell-off you have profit taking it's gonna come it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen on Zekila, it's gonna happen on Bitcoin, it's gonna happen on everything. So you have to be aware of that, okay? And I'm gonna show you where I think the correction is actually gonna come. We are not quite there yet, but we are pretty close. So for that, we're gonna go to the monthly and I'm gonna show you where the resistance is. Now, first thing you wanna notice on Zekila is it did not break all-time high. All-time high, it was uh, around 0 0.23. Uh, it did not break all-time high. It did not even break the close of the all-time high on the monthly, that's at 0 0.11. So it still got some way to go before it gets to the all time high and moons up. So Zekila has actually pretty, pretty good uh, upside uh, compared to Bitcoin that's already broken the up uh, all time high and uh, continuing going up. So let's check this out and let's see uh, where the next, uh, where the support is, what's happening right now. So right now, uh, as you can see, uh, it's holding this wick over here, or, uh, down, uh, down over here, that was some kind of support, but it's pretty weak, it already actually broke it on the, broke it with the wick, and now it's holding there, but I don't think it's gonna stop there just uh, right now. So basically what I think uh, the, the, uh, the resistance, uh, super resistance for this movies, for these parabolic movies, it's up here. It's uh, these two tops over here, uh, closes over here on this green and this green. Uh, so I think anywhere between, between uh, what's that, 0 0.10 and uh, 0. Point, uh, let's put, put here, 0 0.11, it's gonna be uh, top for Zekila. So as you can see, we are not quite there yet. Uh, we still got a, a bit way to go to get into the uh, area of resistance, the real resistance uh, for this parabolic move. And that's uh, between 0 0.10 and 0 0.11. And I think that's uh, that's where this uh, parabolic move, the this uh, local bubble will pop and we're gonna get the correction. So keep that in mind, keep that in mind. Now let's go to, uh, down to the uh, weekly and you can see here we still got uh, some way to go. Uh, on the weekly, uh, as you can see here also, the uh, the weekly uh, the weekly closes uh, up, up here. When the price was going down, it created support just above uh, here at uh, 0 0.11. So I think 0 0.11 might be actually the top for this uh, for this run. I'm not uh, saying anything for sure, but it seems very, very likely that this is going to be the top. And uh, the closer you go into, uh, on, this, on the smaller times you go, you can see that the parabolic move is happening. It's getting uh, close. And now you're going to four hourly uh, chart. You can see here already getting some kind of rejection. Uh, and one hourly, you can see here, it's trying already to fight uh, uh, fight the, the movement. Uh, just like it did here as well and uh, over here, uh, but I think it's got uh, one more leg up 
to get into this area before we get the correction. So, so let's look at some moving averages and see what we can get out of the moving averages on the small time frames. You can see here on the small time frames, one hour late, the moving average is hitting the 20 moving average. But I, as you can see on the move up, it wasn't the 20 that was holding, it was the 50 and actually it was the 100 moving average that was holding and 100 is all the way here at 0 0.06. So uh, right now it's 0 0.09. So this line over here, 0 0.06, can actually hold, uh, it can fall all the way down to 0 0.06 before it goes up. Also, you can see uh, the, the, these two, wait, let me do it like this. Uh, you can see that these two tops over here uh, were creating some kind of, are creating some kind of resistance. Uh, why did it, uh, some kind of resistance and uh, that will act as support also holding support here at 0 0.66 if it uh, starts going back down before they actually move up to the uh, 0 0.10 and we can see that on the on the uh, four hourly as well on the four hourly uh, that will be around something at uh, around 50 moving average that's 20 50 100 and 200 moving average so when it starts going down you want to uh, see that that uh, the 50 moving average uh, is uh, coming a bit back uh, back up and it's hitting the 50 moving average and it's continuing up. Now let's go to a weekly. Uh, let's clean up uh, these uh, two here. Uh, and you can see on the weekly, the 20 moving average is all the way down there. I don't think it, we're going to hit it before we actually start getting correction. But right now we are getting pretty extended from 20 moving average. And we are just in a real parabolic move all the way up to hit this target over here. So this target on the daily can come out today, maybe in a few days. Uh, when it comes, I'm not quite sure what you want to keep on all of the time frames. You want to look at the moving average. You want to see that uh, on one hour, you don't want to see break uh, below the 100 especially not below the 200 moving average on the four hourly because we are such a parabolic move a break a break of the 20 moving average can indicate that we are the move is actually finished so be wary of that if it gets support on the 50 that's good but if it breaks both 20 and 50 uh, it's the move is pretty much done uh, on the four hourly and on daily you, you kind of don't want to be below the 20 moving average because you can see here that on the entire move uh, up it was here holding the 20 moving average all the way up to the to the top but i'm still saying we got some way to go before a actual correction happens so keep that in mind keep that in mind now let's go and look at the uh, weekly and you can see here it just went like straight up a uh, line so something's gonna happen this cannot continue to forever i mean i i know everybody wants to but we are hitting some kind of a resistance over here that's pretty strong and, and since we are already this much extending on the uh, parabolic move i think we're gonna hit this target over here before we get correction monthly very very extended so that's 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 the moving averages so let's see uh, what's happening on the uh, rsi and the macd first we're gonna look at the uh, uh, for RSI and MACD, we are only going to look at the big time frames because small time frames, especially MACD on the small time frames, is not that uh, reliable. Uh, I like to look at MACD on the big time frames. And let's check the MACD on the monthly. Uh, there's not much data on it, but it is, uh, it is crossing the uh, zero line. So that's actually pretty good. You see here, the line, uh, the blue line is crossing the zero line. That means uh, it's bullish. Uh, so it's going up on the weekly. Uh, it's going parabolically up uh, over here so some kind of uh, right now it's uh, the lines are diverging you can see the histograms the lines are diverging that means uh, it's going uh, we are an uptrend but soon uh, that will change and it's going to start diverging lines so we are pretty extended on that and on the daily uh, as well uh, still in the up uh, uptrend so uh, when the price start coming down you want to also follow the macd and see if the uh, the moving averages and the signal I start converging uh, and start going down uh, to confirm that we are actually hit the top. Now look at the look at the Mac. Uh, sorry, look at the RSI now. RSI now is at 87 on the daily. 87. As you can see, uh, all of these tops, uh, both local tops and all the uh, this top over here, it it's very rarely that we hit uh, this uh, 88 87 uh, line on the uh, on the RSI so we are pretty much extended on the daily on the daily on the weekly as well look at the weekly weekly is 91 91 RSI so uh, 
you know, we, we are pretty high up. Some kind of correction has to come. I, I, I'm not saying we're going to get bear market, but correction is going to come. You, you understand that? Uh, parabolic moves cannot be uh, live forever. Uh, and I'm not bearish, uh, but I'm saying some kind of correction will be come. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And then the monthly, uh, it's climbing. It's now right up at uh, 75. So monthly actually can go further up. And I think monthly will do uh, go up, uh, continue going up because it's only at 75. It might get uh, some kind of correction down now that we are getting correction down on the weekly. And, daily uh, but uh, monthly actually looking good and looking very bullish especially since we are just breaking the uh, zero line over here and uh, the rsi is on only on the 75 so it's looking very good for zikila so i i just noticed zikila and i think it's actually pretty uh, pretty insane token if i might say the least um, i've heard some uh, rumors about Zekila, about uh, what stuff uh, is happening but all you have to know right now on the technical side not fundamentals I am not go into the Zekila you know because we are a technical channel we do technical analysis over here we only look at the technicals we look at what technicals are telling us if technicals tell us uh, this is a good buy this is a bad buy we do that we don't do fundamental analysis uh, uh, you want fundamental you go to the Ivan on tech you know uh, but right now it looks like the some kind of uh, resistance it will come at 0, 010 0, 011. I think that might be the end move for this uh, for this uh, for now. You can see here that this move over here topped out at uh, on the daily on this week over here. So it has still uh, just a little while. Let me remove this line. It, it has a little more while to go before it hits the closes. Uh, so that might be it. So I'm saying like it still has a little bit more to go, but it just did 44x, man, 44x. So for all the guy, you guys holding the killer, congratulations, you picked a winner. But right now it's not time in, uh, to FOMO in. Right now it's not time to FOMO in. We are gonna correction. We're gonna get correction all over the board. I think even Bitcoin is gonna get correction because even Bitcoin is uh, overbought and it's uh, just uh, going some insane. Uh, and people have been waiting for correction for long. I mean, anything can happen. Uh, what has happened before doesn't mean it's gonna happen again. But I'm just saying, like the video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. For subscribe to the channel, we need more uh, subscribers. And we got also got Patreon, one dollar for uh, one month. Uh, only first hundred people, early adopters, get that because I'm a small channel. So I thought I'm gonna give you I got exclusive content there. So check that out. Thanks for watching. Come back for the next video. We're gonna do technical. We do technical analysis here on all kinds of uh, altcoins and even Bitcoin. And right now, Zekila is looking really good. So I'm gonna do an update on this after it's uh, get correction and it's time to buy it again. But probably I won't do. Uh, Zekila when it's uh, time to buy when after the correction because nobody watches the videos on YouTube when they are going down they only want to see the tops so join the Patreon on Patreon I am uh, giving like uh, really good technical analysis on stuff that I think are ready to be bought thanks for watching see you tomorrow next video all that shebang where's my buttons this is the button with the music this is the button with this thank you for watching see you tomorrow bye bye